Hello boys, welcome back to another session of video tutorials. This is meant for class 12th biology students and this is for 8th August 2020. As usual, our memory helps us in tracing out what we have studied in our previous sessions. I wanted to help you to make you reflect upon what we have studied previously. We were talking about sex determination in mammals, including man, insects and birds. And in that, we studied the presence of a dominant chromosome will decide the sex of the baby or the offspring. In this session, we are going to study about a very interesting one, very uh, interesting one in the sense it will make us to understand why particular disease exists all of a sudden in a family or why it will disappear in some and reappear after some time. So all this can be understood. To begin with, it may be a puzzle, but when we do what we call pedigree analysis of a family, we will come to know why a particular disease all of a sudden affects a person or why it reappears or disappears. So basically we are going to study about what is very important and what is very interesting is pedigree analysis. So the study of inheritance of genetic traits in several generations of a family is called pedigree analysis. I repeat the study of inheritance of genetic traits in several generations. So normally we take parental generation, then F1 generation, F2 generation, F3 generation like that. So if we are able to study a particular pattern of uh, the genetic trait that appears in several generations, then it is pedigree analysis. Pedigree study, strong tool, it's a very, very strong tool of human genetics to trace inheritance of specific trait or abnormality or disease. Pedigree analysis of inheritance of traits is represented in a family tree. It helps in genetic counseling to avoid genetic disorders. Like whenever we are doing this pedigree analysis, we have got certain symbols. As you are seeing on the right side of your slide, if you are putting a square, it's a male. And uh, if you are making it a round, then it is a female and if it is uh, the square is uh, shifted something like a rhombus then it is unspecified sex the sex is unspecified and if the symbols above symbols male female sex unspecified symbol are blocked that means we shade this then it is affected individuals that means if we make a square and shade it, that means the male is affected with some genetic disorder or abnormality. Female one, round one is shaded, then that particular female in that particular family is affected with some genetic disorder or abnormality. Similarly, sex uns unspecified one also, if we shade it, it means the unspecified sex person has got some abnormality and when uh, we put a square <coughs> and a round join both it means it is mating there is a intercourse between the two and when we put double lines two lines then it is the relatives the mating is between the relatives we say consanguineous mating uh, means both the male and female are related to each other. Maybe it is a maternal uncle, maternal aunties, daughter or son. Uh, someone is getting married to that girl or boy. Then we have got <coughs> one square and uh, uh, link to uh, round one. Um, square is linked with spear. Both are connected. Then below we put a dash and again put one square this. This represents parents above and children below. 
and in order of birth left to right always it is left to right so seniority is from left to right and then parents with male child affected with the disease look at that now parents are normal because we have put a normal square and a sphere but the child who is taking birth we are putting it in red colored or shaded that means the parents have given birth to a child who is affected with genetic disorder or abnormality and then we have got uh, uh, identical twins the children that are born are identical twins including the sex both are both may be girls both may be boys like that and then if there is one girl and one boy then the children are non identical twins similarly we may put uh, say the unaffected ones numbering let's say we put a square and uh, we say 5 6 or 3 4 that means that many children are there offsprings are we are counting with the four five like that and one more is there if we put a round one sphere and then half shade it then it is a carrier or you may put a dot then it is a carrier so pedigree analysis what is the use of it pedigree analysis is useful in many ways like it helps to fill up the possible genotypes we can write the genotype like we are writing no in mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross we have been writing it uh, like uh, in di hybrid cross we said t1 t1 like that and similarly we were writing it as capital t small t and uh, small t small t this is how we were writing the genotype and whenever we were writing a genotype the genotype is allowing us or letting us know the possible phenotype when we wrote capital t capital t it is pure tall isn't it small t small t pure dwarfism dwarfness sharpness and when we write the heterozygous heterozygously capital t small t still it is as tall as capital t capital t but it is not pure it is hybridized so the when we write this pedigree analysis we will understand the possible genotypes and thereby we can know the phenotype also it helps to study the pattern of inheritance of a dominant or recessive trait as a dominant trait is a character which expresses itself in a person and a recessive one is a trait that cannot be expressed in the presence of dominant gene but if it is homozygous even the recessive one can express itself so it helps us to study the pattern of inheritance what is the way in which the gene that is causing a particular genetic disorder is coming out in a family or absence of a particular gene may also cause particular disease abnormality so we will be studying a lot many diseases mendelian as well as chromosomal if a particular gene is missing on a particular chromosome what are the various diseases that will come to that family in our next session in detail we will study similarly part of the chromosome part of the chromatid or entire chromosome is missing then it results in chromosomal abnormalities so we will be studying about chromosomal disorders also in our next session this but to know chromosomal disorder as well as uh, mendelian disorders we need to understand why it is coming in a family particular person in a particular generation is affecting or is affected with a particular disease to know the reason we need pedigree analysis so it is something like a tree you start off with the parental generation come down to f1 f2 f3 then we trace out right from yeah, let's say f2 to, to go back to parental generation grandparents generation then we understand a particular gene is missing in that family because of that if it is a dominant trait it expresses generation after gen if it is a recessive one it will miss in between some generations and reappear so this is how we understand a particular abnormality genetic abnormality through pedigree analysis 
the possible genetic makeup of a person for a trait can also be known with the help of pedigree so we can also know the genetic makeup of that particular person so we can understand all this uh, through pedigree analysis and an open and clear symbol represents the absence of a trait suppose it is not shaded the symbol is not shaded then it means it is a the, the person is not having any abnormality so genetic disorders can be grouped into two categories there are mendelian disorders and chromosomal disorders so the mendelian disorders are transmitted from one generation to the next following mendel's principles of heredity inheritance of mendelian disorders can be represented in pedigree charts the i'll be posting some pedigree charts in our whatsapp group you can just see uh, trace trace out or find out whether it is autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive or is it a sex linked disorder i'll be posting all the three pictures in our group you can uh, just trace out why a particular male or a female is suffering with a genetic disorder similarly uh, it also pedigree analysis also helps us in tracing the chromosomal disorders like uh, we will be studying in detail in our next session about uh, down's syndrome then uh, turner's syndrome and klein felter's syndrome so what i want you to do is when i put this uh, uh, photos or maps uh, pedigree maps i want you to work out and trace out why a particular individual suffers with a, either mendelian disorder or chromosomal disorder so it is very very interesting because we will be able to in a position to analyze why a particular disease exists in a particular family and we can take possible precautions like you have you must have read in newspapers you must have seen in uh, tv many uh, public uh, figures influential figures they have identified that their families were having for example breast cancer and they have identified possible gene why a female gets breast cancer in the family continuously so the future individuals